and you can see immediately this right hand side starts to get darker. All right, welcome back party people. Today we're gonna to talk about eye protection for mountain biking. I did wanna make this video because I had a few requests that came in that says, hey, what kind of eye protection are you wearing? So I thought I'd share with you a journey that I've gone through with different selection of glasses on my way to trying to find the perfect set of eye protection and shades for me. So my journey started out about four and a half years ago and I started off just riding a basic set of safety glasses that you can get at your big box home store and I just had these laying around the garage and you know in the beginning I thought it was more about just having general eye protection where you keep the dirt and debris out keep the bugs out of your eyes and have something to shatterproof in case you were to uh, have an accident on the trail. So I quickly realized after riding with these glasses a few times on the trails, I realized that there were some problems with these types of glasses that didn't really lend itself well to riding mountain bikes. So if you look at these glasses, there's a problem with both the fit and what happens when you're on the trail. Uh, and, and by the way, I'm not cutting down these glasses. This is all you have, by all means wear them, but they're not ideal for mountain biking. They're kind of bulky. They have no grip. They will slip off your face when you sweat and the frames are not ventilated very well. So you will fog up fairly quickly with these. Also, when you are uh, wearing these with a helmet, the way that these are shaped, they curve a lot. They really interfere with your helmet when you wear these. You can see how the thickness of the sides here interact with the side of your helmet. After uh, dealing with the struggles of these slipping off my nose and fogging up and just feeling big and bulky, I decided, okay, now let's try something else. And so then I moved over to some basic uh, sunglasses here. And, and these are Under Armour sunglasses. The only problem is they're still a little bit bulky. They do have better grip for the bridge here um, and the temples. Also, they have no ventilation, but the most important thing is, is that it was really hard to adjust my eyes to riding in different light scenarios because these are gray tinted shades. And well, while they do keep the sun out of your eyes in a lot of scenarios, they're not the best for inside the woods where sometimes the light conditions are low. So although they worked a little bit better and than the safety glasses, these still kind of interfered with the helmet as well because of the thick parts up front. And sometimes even the top of the lenses would interfere with the helmet. After some time then I said, you know what, they are a little bit too bulky. Let me go for something a little bit smaller. And then I moved to these Tifosis. Uh, these are a good, a fairly good mountain bike glass. Are these have a blue mirror tint on them and uh, they are very low profile on the side here. You can see how small they are. They sit low on the, on the bridge here. The temples um, are kind of grippy here. So these work a lot better than anything I had before. They have this kind of uh, have this kind of grip technology here on the nose piece. So the bridge would stay up on your nose fairly well. And uh, they also had these little small vents cut in the lenses here at the top. Um, if you can see that, so one small one there, one small one there, so a little bit more ventilation. These were a little bit better at uh, anti-fog than the other glasses, and they fit with the helmet a lot better. So this particular glass is very low profile, and they don't get in the way of your helmet whatsoever. However, I didn't do a good job at choosing the lens because again, I needed something that really changed with the light conditions. I was reading some forums and uh, somebody suggested to try some of these um, Nash Bar Platt glasses. Uh, and these are photochromic glasses. They're very low profile. And I really like these. They have a, a, a grippier temple area back here. They have a grippier nose bridge here. Um, they're very low profile on the top. They have similar lenses to the Tifosis. As a matter of fact, the cutouts look almost exactly the same and maybe they are rebranded, but these are photochromic 
and so when you get uh, in the outside light when UV light hits these uh, they will get a little bit darker so I wore these glasses for quite a long time and they actually did a pretty good job and um, you know but I just kept having problems with these fogging up so I was comparing these glasses to some glasses that some of the other riders were wearing and I noticed that these glasses didn't necessarily uh, turn darker in UV light as fast as other riders glasses and so I was really struggling with those transitions from lighter scenarios to darker scenarios and back again the other thing is is that I probably didn't do enough research on the color of lens to wear when actually mountain biking these are also tinted gray and although they do provide some UV protection they are not the best color for action sports or adventure sports especially uh, where you want a greater contrast and more depth perception so I ended up doing some more research and this was uh, you know uh, probably a year and a half later and, and I think I came across the perfect pair for me so I want to share that with you and I gotta be honest with you as I get older I need a better depth perception I need more contrast as I'm riding on the trail and I need my transitions to to happen fairly fast in order for my eyes to adjust and get the best riding experience. Okay, so when I'm in the market for eye protection for mountain biking, I look for various different things. Number one, they have to provide eye protection, obviously. So they have to have a shatterproof lens. They also need to have enough lens coverage to cover a majority of my eye and then part of my face uh, to keep dirt, debris, bugs, what have you from your eyes, as well as I like a more flexible frame they also need to have some anti-slip technology built into the bridge and to the temples so that your glasses don't slip and slide on your face as you're uh, sweating and maneuvering through the trail. Also, anti-fog technology is very important. So you wanna choose eye protection that promotes airflow. For me, it's important to have photochromic lenses. So as you go out and, and get exposed to UV light, the lenses will actually turn darker and also having the option to get different color lens in order to create um, better contrast and uh, depth perception. And the final thing is that I'd like them to be lightweight and stylish. So now that you've seen some of the characteristics that I look for in eye protection and if you've kind of seen the journey that I've gone through over the years as a mountain biker, let me talk about my most favorite pair of glasses and these are the jewel bow arrows and I have a set here in my hands and I also have a set on my head dummy here uh, they're a little bit different color these are the uh, gray and black tortoise shell with the yellow logo I have the um, gray and black tortoise shell with the blue logo I have the uh, zebra light red lens and the dummy here has a um, reactive lens in with a yellow tint to it so these glasses have actually lived up to my expectations in all the areas that I look for. All right, so I'll bring you in for a tighter shot here and show you why. So there's a shot from the side. You can see the gray and black tortoise shell color on the side and the blue logo. So let's talk about all the things I like about these glasses. Uh, remember when I said one of the first things I look for is uh, protection, obviously. So these have a nice large lens here and they are shatterproof and they're actually one piece lens so you can snap the frame off of the lens uh, they just connect right here on the sides and at the bridge and when you replace the lens or change out lens it's very easy you don't you only have this one piece lens they have this gripper technology in the bridge here of the nose and it is adjustable so notice the gripper technology on the temples here and the flexibility Also check out the ventilation in these glasses. So uh, if you're noticed, first of all, look at the ventilation holes in the actual frames themselves. So you've got ventilation here, you've got ventilation back here near the earpiece. And if you notice the lenses, there is actual space between the lens and the frame uh, over the entire lens. This is a one piece lens. Also notice the cutouts on the side profile here. So as the lens kind of hugs the side of your face, you've got these cutouts that promotes airflow as well. The other thing I really like about these glasses is that they have an anti-fog technology 
built into the lens so it's not a coating so you don't have to worry about scratching that off as well as uh, the breathability that they have built into both the frames and the lens. Very stylish glasses and they have a lifetime warranty on the lenses or if you need to get a frame or different lenses you can easily get those from the manufacturer. So I have two different pairs. So this pair has the gold tinted lens and uh, this pair has the zebra light red lens. Both are photochromic lenses and um, they provide certain advantages to ride mountain bikes. So I would suggest if you're looking for eye protection, probably want to go with either the, the rose reddish colored lens or perhaps the yellow lens for mountain biking. These are two of the best lenses that provide a greater contrast on the trail and also better depth perception. So the one thing I like about these Jewel Bow Airs is the speed at which they transition. As I mentioned, they're photochromic lenses. And the problem I had with other glasses before is they just didn't adapt fast enough to the changing lighting conditions on the trail. And these Jewel Bow Arrows actually transition fairly fast. I'll do a little demonstration here with a UV light uh, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So these glasses have photochromic lenses. I'm just going to shine a UV light on the, the right side here and show you how long it really takes for this one to transition over completely. All right, so you can see how this right side is much darker than the left side. I want to replace these with the jewel boat arrows here. And I'm going to do the same demonstration here. And you can see immediately this right hand side starts to get darker. So the transition is fairly quick. And some of that light got on the left side too and it started. So they have a very quick kind of transition time. And if I hold this up here another three or four seconds, you'll see the full effects there. So look how dark that lens got in just hardly no time at all. So I really like the photochromic lenses on these Jewel arrows. So I just showed you uh, some of the details I like about these Jewel Bow Aero glasses. They are my go-to sunglasses now exclusively for mountain bike riding. I also use them while I'm trail running and also um, just in general when I'm hiking as well. So they are a multi-purpose glass, but they work phenomenally for mountain biking. I tend to invest more in eyewear now than I did before because I'm aging now and my eyes are getting older and they're getting weaker. And uh, any advantage I can get from the lenses, I'll gladly accept. Uh, I probably should have done this a long time ago, but it took me a while in my journey to actually find the right sunglasses for me. So maybe this information can help you. With having said that, that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give me a thumbs down. Either way, just let me know you're out there. Comment down below what your favorite pair of sunglasses or eye protection for mountain bike riding are. And until next time, you know what to do. Skill up and ride. And my van's not here, so I can't go.